treadmill has a number of settings that you can adjust. Uh, this is on the last tab bar for settings. One of the things you can change is your weight, which is used in calorie calculation. Simply by tapping on the window, it pops up a keyboard and you can enter your weight, let's say 165 pounds, and put that in. And your stride is the distance from one foot to, to the other. So, for instance, the tip of your left foot to the tip of your right foot would be your stride length during your run or during your walk. In the settings, there are two presets. The run setting is set to five feet, and the walk setting is set to two and a half feet. Those are just typical numbers uh, for an average person. Now, if you would like to measure your stride, which I'll show how to do in a later video, you can press user and actually enter in your own stride. So let's say your stride is 4.8 feet. You can put that in just like that. Okay, and your sensitivity is the sensitivity of the sensor. So in case you think that, you know, perhaps it's not catching every step that you're taking, you can put this a little lower and it'll catch more steps. On the other hand, if you think that it's catching too many steps, then you can set this higher. The auto pause and resume function is a nice advanced feature which automatically pauses your run when you stop running or walking. And it automatically resumes when you continue walking or running again. So you simply turn that on or off. It's a nice feature to have if you're running outside and so you come to a stoplight or you have to stop your run instead of having to press pause every time iTreadmill will detect that you've stopped and it will automatically pause for you but then when the light turns green and you run again then iTreadmill will automatically resume your run again as if you press the pause and then the play button but it will do it all for you so you don't have to touch any buttons now the units can be in English or metric now in metric, things will be in meters and kilometers. In English, pounds, feet, and miles. And the reset section allows you to reset one of two things. The first thing is the settings, which is all of the everything on this screen and the sound screens. Or you can reset your history file. In case you don't want to just delete one or two, you want to delete the whole history file, you can just say on. And then it will ask you to confirm, are you sure you want to delete it? Or you can still say, no, I don't want to change anything. So that's the general settings. The sound settings is in the sounds tab. The sound settings allows you to turn on or off all of your sounds just with one tap. Pressing off turns them all off. Pressing on will turn all of your sounds on. And you can also do user which allows you to set these sounds separately. For instance, your button clicks you might want off, but you may want your start, pause, and stop sounds to be there. Maybe you want to turn off your dial clicking and your uh, lock sound. And then the pacer tick is the metronome tick beat, which you can set to high, low, or off. Mileage alerts allow you to hear a chime at every quarter mile or half mile or at every mile or you can turn it off. That's the sound set. Okay so that's iTreadmill and hopefully this video gave you a better feel for what iTreadmill is like and how it works and uh, we hope that uh, you will download it today and check it out. Uh, we offer great support so if you do have any problems with it or you have any suggestions please email us we for the most part we email within you know an hour or two uh, definitely within 24 hours and so we use uh, those emails uh, for suggestions for updates that we do and it's our goal that everyone who gets it will be able to make it work for them and so let us uh, give us a chance and give us a holler and let us know how we can make it better for you. Uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for some other videos we'll put together 
that will show some advanced features such as mileage alerts and various settings and how to figure out your stri stride length. Um, also using iTreadmill while playing music with the auto audio player. And we'll probably do some road tests uh, using iTreadmill both indoors and outdoors and some of the features that are built in that, that really make it nice for various situations. So till then, we'll, we'll see you later. Thank you very much. Bye.